Welcome to another video. Today we are talking about the semi truck. Uh, yesterday uh, we didn't have a chance to because this little thing happened at the event and kind of stole all of the spotlight. But if you think about it, the news uh, that came out about the semi truck was just as mind blowing, if not more, than the news about the roaster. As a matter of fact, the semi truck technology will probably affect us, you know, the current and future Tesla owners much more than the Roadster would. So let's talk about that. Tomorrow I'm going to do a longer show so we can all hang out, talk, but I will also tell you more about what happened behind the scenes of the event. So it's um, what I saw. I'll have some uh, more footage of what I what was happening behind the scenes. I was there from 6 p.m. all the way till about 1 a.m. So there's a lot of happened. I'll, I'll answer all of your questions because just, uh, just a lot of stuff to talk about. I'm still like underslept because I couldn't sleep that night once once I got to my hotel room. As you can probably see by my eyes, I'm still catching up on some sleep. But before that, uh, if you are interested in staying up to date with everything that's going on in the world of electric cars, this is the right place. So please go ahead and click on the subscribe button down there and the bell notification icon to become a part of our community. All right, the semi truck event uh, that kind of blew everyone's minds. So this is a picture that I, I think like everyone see this picture. This is from my point of view. Um, the show was amazing. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it yesterday. I don't know what it looked like from your perspective, but it's, 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 I don't think I've ever even been to a concert that was uh, this well done. And there was a pre-party and after party. So, but Let's talk about what uh, what actually was exposed to to all of us, really. Um, so this is us going into the tunnel before the event, and and this is like right before the event as it was starting. Um, the first thing that blew my blew, blew our minds, of course, uh, is the fact that there wasn't just one; there were two trucks. I don't know, like everybody kind of forgot, but you know they promised us just one, right? Now the second one is a, a kind of a version without a higher roof. I I, st I still I still don't know if that makes a big difference in terms of the performance or whatever. I'm assuming, I'm assuming it would. Um, and it has two different uh, battery packs as well, right? But the fact that it was it was two different versions uh, that was sort of a big deal, right? We, again, we were just expected expected one thing. Um, this, I mean, the second thing, and actually this is probably what was the biggest thing. And again, let me know in the chat or in the comments if you're watching this on the replay. Is the range, right? Everyone was predicting that it would be anywhere from three to four for fifty without a load. And they said it's going to be 500 miles with a full load, which is game over. It is, uh, it is, it, you know, basically, and I, and I think like 80% of all trips are like around 100 to 150 miles. So this will cover like the majority of all the trips that most semi trucks uh, have to make. And don't forget by law in pretty much all states, you have to stop and rest at some point. So that's where... The second mind-blowing thing that just came in, and by the way, did we all forget a lot of people wanting a supercharger version 3? Well, you got your superchargers for version 3. They're just called mega chargers, and they can charge the 400-mile range in just 30 minutes. Now, that's, what, almost three times as fast as we're charging right now. That's another mind-blowing thing, and it's another thing that will be implemented in the future for all of us and you know they look the same but that's kind of that was that, that was a mind-blowing thing because this is the technology it's another breakthrough technology just like the uh the range and by the way roughly to calculate some people are saying the battery would be about a thousand kilowatt hour pack which is also like this is just amazing now let's not forget and i talked about it right the day before that you know all of this stuff, all of this charge keys are great for us, the people who are watching it and people who will never own one for the brand, it's, it's great. But the economics of, of this is extremely, extremely important to the trucking companies who don't care what it looks like uh, or how, you know what kind of cool screens it has. So the economics are really, really good because uh, let's see, uh, uh, the way the trucking industry does it per mile, right? So like how much does it cost them per one mile? And apparently it costs them about a buck and a half. And with the Tesla truck, and I think they, uh, um, they are calculating the cost of the truck itself, uh, they are calculating a, a buck and a quarter. 
which is a much better, you know, what about 20% better uh, operations and costs. And by the way, there were a few, um, there were a few people from the industry there. And um, let me just stop showing you the video because that's maybe distracting. Um, here, by the way, here's a truck in white. Um, here's the same truck in blue. And here's the truck in red, which I think looks pretty cool. Um, so it doesn't matter what it's going to be uh, as long as the operational cost makes sense. So that did make sense. But another thing that, by the way, guys, do you remember that Elon mentioned the convoy? Let me show you what the convoy concept is. Um, it's basically when three trucks go one after another. And I thought that was because of the aerodynamics of it, of the truck are really good. By the way, the, the truck is so aerodynamic. I think he said it was, was better than Bugatti. I, I, I might be wrong, but it was like, amazing aerodynamics and as you can see the truck has the caps on just like that model 3 aerodynamic caps obviously to uh to kind of uh keep you know to keep the air flowing and actually let me show you something funny uh <laughs> let me find this um uh this picture uh so during the test drives oh yeah here during the test drives one of the hab caps actually fell off and started rolling into the airport runway and so i just took a picture of it that's it's there they picked it up right away but i thought it was kind of funny anyway back to the convoy thing so i thought it was aerodynamics but no it actually is because of the two other trucks behind it will have no drivers so there will be one leading car and the two other cars will follow without drivers that's kind of breakthrough now i still have questions because um well, what if you're running, you, what if you're, you know, going through an intersection and the light changes? Are the other two trucks going to run the red light? You know, so I, I or, you know, I'm, I'm still not quite sure, but that's another breakthrough technology that I was, I, I thought was amazing. Um, now, let's not forget about the armor glass. That's another thing that, that I guess is very important. Well, safety, right? Uh, because, you know, you're driving enough time, crap is going to, you know, bounced off of your windshield. I'm sure all of us had little stones come up to the windshield and then would crack it once in a while. But if it's a big bolt or big piece of another truck, because you know, trucks full of other trucks a lot of times, well, that can actually kill you. Um, and this, look, if you look in this video, um, it, it's kind of an armor protection almost where stuff will just bounce off of it, metallic stuff. And this is another good safety feature. And another safety feature that might be coming to our cars in the future, right? Because you know, we still want to st uh, stay safe. So that I thought that was I thought that was a really really cool. So these are the pictures of the interior of the uh, truck, which is um, I got to sit on inside of it, and I'll 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 show you guys some pictures of it a little bit later I, in my video. You saw me behind the behind the wheel, so that was kind of cool. Um, this is up close, the picture that I, uh, I took of uh, being up close. Uh, let's see. Um, we talked about charging. We talked about oh. <laughs> I literally have to look at my list. Usually I, it's all in my head, but don't forget a, another industry breakthrough, a million mile warranty, the million mile warranty on the powertrain. Where, where did you see that? I, I, you know, like you've never seen that in this industry. So it's another amazing mind blowing thing that they came up with. I, I, I mean, it's, 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 it's amazing. Another safety issues, by the way, there's no uh, jackknifing. If you don't know what it is, is when a truck is backing up, right? Sometimes it kind of folds. But because of all the sensors, it won't let it do that. And I guess from being in the audience, that little thing actually drew some applause from the part of the building where the uh, trucking industry people were. So I'm, I assume that's actually a big deal for them. We're all like, I didn't even know what jackknifing was actually until I asked somebody. Um, so uphill, 5% uh, uphill goes 65 miles an hour, which is another thing that other trucks can do, the diesel regular trucks can do. Uh, the going uphill is much faster and zero to 60 i believe it's 20 seconds which is pretty freaking amazing that's a with a full load i know some priuses that go fat you know slower than that zero to 60 so this is amazing and when they were running around the track actually and i think i just saw some um i'll show you some of the videos still um when they were running around the truck uh the track that those trucks those trucks looked so freaking fast it, it it was it was amazing so um i think i'm missing one more thing um but it's think about how 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 many things that have they've just changed in this industry and this is a truck this is not even a 
you know, they made it look sexy, but it's not a sexy kind of a thing to talk about, right? Semi trucks. Uh, here's another uh, picture up close that I took. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to make sure I get all of them. Oh, by the way, let's talk about the spy shot. Remember, I thought Elon even denied it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this uh, this spy shot was of somebody catching them, I guess, testing it. And, you know, they must have tested them all over the place. I'm surprised there is only one because, you know, they've uh, they've done a lot of testing with this and videos and all of that stuff. Now, let's compare what it actually turned out to be. And this is their press photo. As you can see, that was the truck. Unless somebody photoshopped it and guessed it really, really right. Um, I guess it doesn't even matter because that was pretty spot on if you if you ask me. Oh, and by the way, see, this is that's the one thing I forgot. The pickup, right? So everybody's got their Christmas gifts. Everybody, well, except for me, because I wanted a Model Y and uh, a concept. But everybody got their Christmas gifts. So this is a, I guess, pickup truck that can haul a pickup truck. Uh, what, what what I guess this is is a semi. And from what I understand, the front of it, it looks like the early drawings of the semi truck. So maybe this will be updated into looking like the semi truck front. Um, but I guess it's just going to be done on the same powertrain. Everything's going to be the same, except for it's going to be a you know pickup bed at, at, at the at the end of the truck. But he didn't say anything beyond that. That this is almost some people thought it was a joke, and maybe it is, but a lot of people got excited and thought that this may actually hit the production, and who knows, maybe it will. Um, because I guess this doesn't really take that much extra work to execute um let's see you know I'm, I'm talking about the i'm talking about the truck and and i'm looking at the chat and all you guys want to talk about the roadster right uh somebody is asking let's see uh let me just scroll down here <laughs> we're back to the roadster have i reserved the roadster no i have not i'm not really into sports cars i also don't really want to spend a quarter million dollar on a car i feel like spending eighty thousand ninety thousand dollar on my car was already kind of out there um, and I also just bought a house. Um, uh, I, someone else says, still can't believe that it's possible to put 200 kilowatt hour battery to the roadster. I'm assuming it's all about the battery density and stacking them one over the other. Hi from San Diego, from, from, hi from North, uh, Northern Ireland. How are you guys? Thanks for joining me. Um, <laughs> Nigel says Trump needs his truck. That's probably true. Let me switch it to back to the picture since that's what we're talking about. See how see how Roaster just stole the entire presentation and the entire truck. I'm almost thinking like, should they have, they have done two different ones, like maybe two months apart? Because the truck on its own is impressive, you know, without everything else, without the Roaster. So maybe they should have just done um, they they should have just done a separate one to unveil the Roaster. Um, Greg in the chat room says, I heard when I worked at the Gigafactory that the, uh, the truck was, uh, the track was working semi. Um, I don't know what that means. Sorry. Um, oh, okay. Do you, here's another one. Dex T7 says, do you think that the roaster is going to have the autopilot built in? Okay. Let's talk about the autopilot. Uh, first of all, it probably will because why not, right? They have the technology. It's a Tesla car. Why not? But if you're buying a roaster, I'm assuming you're somebody who likes driving. So why would you want to have an autopilot on the Roadster, the driver's car? So I'm sure it's going to be an option, but I don't see too many people going for it. Um, uh, autopilot on the truck. So it looks like it's going to have the current version of autopilot, but it looks like strategically Elon made sure not to mention that it's going to be at some point autonomous driving type of the truck simply because, you know, truckers need jobs and they don't want to hear about the technology that will put them out of business. So I think that was strategically because when I looked at the truck on the front of it, I saw the same three cameras and the radar that I see on a Model 3. So I'm sure it's equipped with, you know, fully self-driving uh, hardware, but let's not mention it for now, right? Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. So as you can see, there's only one seat in the middle with two monitors. And I'm going to see if I can still find the... Uh, the picture I have of it, this is the Tesla's, pic Tesla's um, uh, picture from the press kit. Um, again, I said in it and I'll do a separate video about it, but uh, it, 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 there are interesting things that are going ins inside. As you can see, just a sort of a one, one throne, if you will. And the two monitors, like in the Model uh, Model Three, which which is which is amazing. Um, and I did talk to some industry insiders, actually people who owned uh, uh, trucking companies and they already placed their orders. By the way, Walmart did some really large Canadian company did. I mean, they're already getting orders, but the, 
the I asked them, I said, guys, I know it's impressive to us. What do you guys think? And I was surprised, not surprised, but it was good to hear that they said that they were just as amazed and shocked and, and pleased as the rest of us. And they were saying, yeah, we were definitely, we already placed orders. And it I, from talking to them, it sounded like they've been talking to Tesla and have seen these trucks and even driven them before the event. They were, to them, was it, was, it looked like it was just a party. They kind of already made their business decisions and seen the product a while back. And I believe that's what Elon already mentioned, that they were working with the industry to make sure to create the truck for them based on their response, which was, I think, was really, uh, really smart. Um, uh, John uh, in the chat says, if the business case proves to be as compelling as described, incumbent truck manufacturers must be in a spin. Yeah, I agree. But don't forget, there are two more years. They're getting two to three years uh, of cushion because, you know, they're not even going to start producing it uh, for a couple of years. So the roaster and the semi truck, you know, we're probably going to kind of forget about them in another couple of weeks because it's not going to happen uh, in another couple of years. It's, we're we're, we're going to be back to the uh, Model 3 conversation. Uh, Tesla roaster is very exciting, says John. Uh, Nigel says it's not a million mile warranty. He was particular with his worst guarantee breakdown free for million miles, but not failure of motor. That's not how I understood it, but I, I would stand corrected if that's really what you're saying. But isn't that the uh, uh, technically a warranty if they, they're going to fix a car free if, if it breaks down? Um, you know, uh, let's see. Gray says, Alex, have you heard um, about any VINs higher than a thousand on the Model 3? I believe in my uh, um, Model S owners group, someone literally just posted a picture of a Model 3 on a, on a truck with a 1077. But yes, I think it's even almost at 2,000 right now. So definitely worth 1,000 for sure. Um, truck needs charging infrastructure. Yes, I know. And that's what they're going to be building it. And I bet it will also be, they're going to be building the mega chargers uh, for us as well. I'm just wondering if our current cars will be, be retrofitted or if they're going to have to just have it as a new feature in a Tesla's moving forward. You know, I'm going to assume it could be retrofitted, but I'm, I'm not clear about it. By the way, as soon as I'm done with this feed, I'm going to be driving to the Cattleman City, by the way, where the largest supercharging um, location was just opened up on Wednesday. Um, I know I was in LA, so I couldn't do it earlier. So I'm driving there right now. I'm probably going to post the video either tonight or tomorrow for you guys to check out. Uh, because it's got a you know a owner's lounge. It's a really big, uh, uh, big, you know, parking lot. It's just a separate thing. It's not like part of another parking lot. I think it's got solar arrays. I'm gonna launch my drone and check it out. So I'm gonna post it as soon as I get back and edit it. And then tomorrow, don't forget, at 12 noon Pacific time, we'll come back here and then I can answer all of you guys' questions. I know you're asking me a thousand different questions and comments, but let's do it tomorrow because tomorrow, you know, I'm trying to keep this. Uh, to 15 minutes per each time that I go on the air live because a lot of people are watching it in the replay. And uh, tomorrow we are going to go for at least an hour just talking about this because, again, I wanted to tell you about what happened behind the scenes uh, at the event and show you some extra footage and other YouTubers that I met. I met almost other, all other YouTubers I follow and have done collabs with. So that was, that was pretty exciting. So, um, yeah, so... Uh, what an exciting, I mean, I'm still like, I, you know, you see by my eyes, like I'm still underslept because I've been so excited for the last few days. I'm sure it will come down and go back to production hell that Model 3 is providing for us. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me again. Uh, don't forget to hit the uh, um, thumbs up uh, on on uh, on your way out. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and, uh, and subscribe. I will see you tomorrow at noon live. Uh, we'll talk about everything that happened this week. And I will give you some footage from the behind the scenes and some of the stories. So thank you so much for joining me. I will see you guys tomorrow. And remember to stay charged.